Well, for most of us, Veterans Day has already come and gone, but the Wheeling Nailers are in the middle of a weeks long salute to our armed forces, concluding with their salute to service at tomorrow's face off with Cincinnati. 7 News reporter Colin Roos is outside of West Banco Arena right now to tell us how tomorrow's game will go far beyond just pucks and sticks. Colin. Catherine, they may not go through boot camp, but the Wheeling Nailers are pushed to their physical limits on the ice every day. That's why they have such respect for the people who lay their lives before the American dream. And at their game against the Cyclones tomorrow night, they're going, they're going to bring onto the rink those who don't often get the same center stage treatment that they do. You can hear it in every slap shot and crash against the screen. Hockey is a rough sport. But the Wheeling Nailers love every second of it and they know they wouldn't have the chance to go pro in the sport they've devoted their lives to without the tireless service of the military. That's why the players will dedicate their pregame Saturday to a swearing-in ceremony for the Air Force and will shed the black and gold jerseys to wear the colors of the flag. It's called their Salute to Service, and with West Banco so close to the Friendly City's vet memorials, it's an appreciation that's never far from the team's minds. I think for me, you walk up and down the, the, the river and you see all the monuments and you see all the, the men and women who have served. And it means a lot, I think, for, for any American to, to honor them. And the Nailers don't just admire them from a distance. Many of the players grew up in military families themselves, with defenseman Joshua Victor having generations of relatives in uniform. His regimented and respectful upbringing still comes in handy when protecting the net. That's kind of the way I was raised. You know, you, you give your all no matter what and, and you know, you go about your business. He calls family life with service members strict, but loving and rewarding in the devotion to hard work it brings. It's a life that doesn't incline you to take credit or ask for help, even when it's necessary. Victor says civilians have to take on the task of giving them the appreciation they deserve. Whether it's a game, whether it's through you know, community service, whether it's just you know, talking to a veteran that, that might be down on their luck like that day. When they're out on duty, the armed forces may not get the applause that the nailers do every night, but on Saturday, the cheers from the stands will show them that their fan base is far bigger than they think. Now, the team encourages you to show up even if you aren't a veteran, because the louder the crowd, the more it's clear to the men and women in uniform just how many voices are cheering them on. Live in Wheeling, I'm Colin Roos, working for you.